tobacco for a premium cigar is an art as well as a science. It takes many years, perhaps generations, to develop the knowledge, skills, and abilities to grow the finest tobacco. Nothing is more important to growing great tobacco than the seed. To grow the best tobacco, you start with the best seeds. Unlike most tobacco plants, seed stock plants are allowed to flower. You're looking for the biggest, strongest, and healthiest plants to use as your seed stock. Each seed pod contains many seeds. Tobacco seeds are very tiny. One gram will contain about 11,000 individual seeds. Although each farm has its own preferred method of doing things, here is an example of one way. In this clip, about 8,000 seeds have been put into a small jar along with a prescribed amount of sterile ash. After the seeds are mixed with the ash, this mixture will be placed into a sifter and distributed over the germination soil bed. Since the seeds are the same color as the germination soil, the ash allows the farmer to see how evenly the seeds are distributed over the soil. Not all seeds will germinate due to various factors, but it's assumed that about 75% or in this case 6,000 of the 8,000 seeds will successfully germinate. After seeding the germination tray, the farmer will cover the soil and the seeds with a layer of sterilized rice shells or some other equivalent material. After covering the seeds with the rice shells, the farmer will add moisture to cause the rice shells to adhere to the surface of the soil. This serves to protect the seeds from the wind and from insects. The seedlings in the tray in the foreground are 12 days old. When they reach 17 days, the biggest seedlings are selected from the germination trays and transplanted into individual cups. One seedling to one cup. These small containers are filled with a special mixture of soil and nutrients to ensure that the seedling has all the help it needs to grow strong and healthy. The seedlings spend 23 to 25 days in the greenhouses, depending on their growth. During this time, they are carefully watered and inspected to ensure that they are in perfect condition prior to being transported to the field and transplanted. Before being transplanted, the seedlings are trimmed using a specialized machine or sometimes a regular lawnmower which trims the tips of the plants to a uniform height. But the process of topping the plants results in a better root development, a stronger stock, and a crop that is more uniform in growth. After about 75 days, the tobacco looks like this. Tobacco, unlike most other agricultural crops, is used for its leaf, not for its fruit or its flower. Because the leaf is so important to the creation of premium cigars, growing tobacco means getting most of the nutrients to the leaves of the tobacco plants. One way of directing more nutrients to the tobacco leaves is by removing the flowers from the plants. By topping the plants and removing the flowers, the roots will grow deeper and become stronger. Daniel Nunez, president of General Cigar, is discussing the wind and their efforts to control it. Thanks in part to the preparation of the seedlings, the resulting strong roots and stalks help the plants to withstand these windy conditions. After about 12 weeks, the tobacco is ready to be picked. Harvesting is an important and complex process. The leaves must be picked at exactly the right time. Picking, also called priming, starts at the bottom of the plant. Each week, two leaves are primed, and since different tobacco varieties come in different sizes, the number of primings will vary. Typically, there are seven to eight primings, or 14 to 16 leaves. 
At the end of each priming stage, the leaves are gathered in crates and taken to the curing barns for further processing. Each time another priming is completed, the leaves at the top of the plant take advantage of the longer exposure to the elements and a greater supply of nutrients to become thicker and more full in flavor. The bottom leaves, also called secco, provide the burning qualities of your cigar. The middle leaves, or the viso, provide the bulk of the flavor, while the upper leaves, the ligero, provide the strength. According to Hendrik Kellner, president of the Davidoff Company, the tobacco plant will talk with you and tell you when the leaf is ready to be picked. Let's listen in as Mr. Kellner has a little bit of fun with this. It's easy with two fingers to make, to separate the leaf to the plant. When it's not mature, the leaf resists. It's not too easy to harvest. The, the leaf talk with you say, wait, wait. My chemical composition is not real. The chemical composition for a good tobacco. As you harvest me now, I never go to USA and want a good cigar. I, I lose my flight. I, I don't have visa.